Two of Everything, a Chinese folktale, retold and illustrated by Lily Toy Hung, and read by Mister Alisea. Once long ago, in the humble little hut, lived Mister Hock Tuck and his wife Missus Hock Tuck. They were old and very poor. What little they ate came from their tiny garden. In a lucky year, when the harvest was plentiful, Mister Hock Tuck. Had a little extra to take to the village. There he traded turnips, potatoes, and other vegetables for clothing, lamp oil, and fresh seeds. One spring morning, when Mister Hock Tuck was digging in his garden, his shovel struck something hard. Puzzled, he dug deeper into the dark ground until he came upon an ancient pot made of brass. How odd," said Mister Hock Tuck to himself. To think that I have been digging here all these years and never came upon this pot before, I will take it home. Maybe Missus Hogtuck can find some use for it. The pot was big and heavy for old Mister Hogtuck. As he stumbled along, his purse, which contained his last five gold coins, fell to the ground. He tossed it into the pot for safekeeping and staggered home. His wife greeted him at the door. "Dear husband, what a strange pot!" Mister Hock Tuck explained how he found the pot. "I wonder what we can do with it," said Missus Hock Tuck. "It looks too large to cook in and too small to bathe in." As Missus Hock Tuck leaned over to peer into the pot, her hairpin. The only one she owned fell in. She felt around in the pot, and suddenly her eyes grew round with surprise. "Look!" she shouted. "I've pulled out two hairpins, exactly alike, and two purses too." Sure enough, the purses were identical, and so were the hairpins. Inside each purse were five gold coins. Mister Hock Tuck was so excited he jumped up and down. Let's put my winter coat inside the pot. If we are lucky again, the pot will make two coats, and then we will both stay warm. So into the pot went one coat, and out came two coats. They began to search the house and quickly put more things into the magical pot. If only we had some meat, wished Mister Hock Tuck, or fresh fruit, or one delicious sweet cake. Missus Hock Tuck smiled. "I know how we can get anything we want," she said. She put their ten coins into one purse, then threw it into the pot. She pulled out two purses with ten coins in each. "What a clever wife I have!" cried Mister Hock Tuck. "Each time we do this, we will have twice as much money as before." The Hock Tucks worked late into the night, filling and emptying the pot until the floor was covered with coins. Morning came, and off went Mister Hock Tuck with a long list of things to buy in the village. Instead of vegetables, his basket was full of gold coins. Missus Hock Tuck finished all of her chores and sat down to enjoy a cup of tea. She sipped her tea and admired the brass pot. Then, with a grateful heart, she knelt and embraced it. Dear pot. I do not know where you came from, but you are my best friend. She stooped over the pot to look inside. At that very moment, Mister Hock Tuck returned. His arms were so full of packages that he had to kick the door open. <laughs> Missus Hock Tuck was so startled that she lost her balance and fell head first into the pot. Mister Hock Tuck ran over and grabbed his wife's legs. He pulled and tugged until she slid out onto the floor. But when he looked at the pot again, he gasped. Two more legs were sticking straight out of it. Naturally, he took hold of the ankles and pulled. Out came a second person. She looked exactly like his wife. The new Mrs. Hocktack sat silently on the floor, looking lost. But the first Mrs. Hocktack cried, "I am your one and only wife. Put that woman back into the pot right now." No, if I put her back. We will not have two women, but three. One wife is enough for me. He backed away from his angry wife and tripped and fell headfirst into the pot himself. 
Both Mrs. Hacktax rushed to rescue him. Each grasped an ankle, and together they pulled him out. There were two more legs in the pot, so they pulled out the other Mr. Hacktax too. Just what use does one Mr. Hacktax have for another? Mr. Hacktax cried angrily. This pot is not as wonderful as we thought it to be. Now even our troubles are beginning to double. But his wife had been thinking while he was yelling. Calm down, she said. It is good that the other Mrs. Hacktack has her own Mr. Hacktack. Perhaps we will become best of friends. After all, we are so alike he will be a brother to you and she a sister to me. With our pot we can make two of everything. So there will be plenty to go around. And that is what they did. The Hacktacks built two fine new homes. Each house had identical teapots, rice bowls, silk embroideries, and bamboo furniture. From the outside, the houses looked exactly alike, but there was one difference. Hidden in one house was a big brass pot. Of course, the Hacktacks were always very careful not to fall into it again. The new Hacktacks and the old Hacktacks did become good friends. The neighbors thought that the Hacktacks had grown so rich that they decided to have two of everything, even themselves.